So a really good topic to talk about as a lot of new graduates are progressing into their first position, in this case in optometry, is the topic of what can you bring into a practice to help that practice grow. And something that I did personally that was enormously successful and something that I've seen my colleagues do that was enormously successful was creating a blog for the practice. Now why and what does that mean? Effectively a blog is usually a separate website or sometimes a single page within a practice's website that is a running feed of articles, posts, sometimes news related things that a practice kind of writes on behalf of themselves. And the reason that this is so valuable is because of the attention it can bring to a practice and to the doctors within the practice. So having a blog is good because now it's not about sending out you know, physical mail, cold calling people, yellow pages. Those things are in the past. Now it's about how patients, how people, how clients are finding you, right? And so a really good idea is to basically go into that practice and say, hey look, what, you know, what are you doing in terms of web, web related properties and what are your web assets? And usually every practice will have a single website where they have the standard information that's never updated. But with a blog, you can actually have this running feed of posts. Now, why, right? Why, what's the point? Having a blog out there is a great way to bring in new patients. Basically, search engine optimization works just like you think it probably works. Google or other websites scrape the internet for keywords and then when users type in in Google keywords, Google serves that up. So as, as healthcare professionals, uh, professionals ourselves, we can write posts and write content that is keyword specific, not only for the content that we're really interested in writing about, say like it's a certain disease state, but keyword to our physical location. Google and search, engine, search engines are much more likely to bring up websites that are in a specific location closer to where the person is searching. So we're able to actually attract people to the practice through a blog. Another really good thing it does is it attracts talent. If the practice is growing and you're trying to bring in some of the more talented people in your community, they like to see that there's a social presence. This whole aspect of blogging actually expands social media greatly. You can now have a lot better content to post on Facebook, Twitter, Google, whatever it might be, because most practices are just kind of rehashing old memes and old pictures, but what about writing your own content and putting it out there in the community? It makes it a lot easier to advertise too. Now you have kind of a benchmark of where you can begin advertising some of your great content. Usually a blog takes some time to build, you know, uh, give it about six to nine months before you even see the first trickling of people recognizing it or coming in. But as you begin to send it out, maybe through newsletters and social media, you'll begin to see patients coming in because of this. Personally, when I wrote posts, I got a lot of really, really interesting and dedicated patients to the practice. They wanted to hear about what I was writing about with dry eye, with climate in San Diego and how it was affecting dry eye, with the new ARED study coming out on macular degeneration at the time. And so writing about these things with long tail keywords, writing very specific write-ups and short posts, not long, maybe four or five paragraphs, usually very digestible by a patient, very consumer facing, we attracted people in our local community. And this really helped to build the practice. And it's something I don't see a lot of young healthcare professionals doing when they really should. Creating a blog is actually really easy, um, but it's a topic that's gonna be different for everyone. The first thing to do is to try to contact the webmaster or the person who's running the website within the practice. WordPress, wordpress.com, that's one of the largest platforms for hosting websites and creating websites, and it's one of the most powerful blogging platforms. So the first thing to find out is, is your site hosted on WordPress? If it is, great, it's gonna be a lot easier. If it's not, we may wanna create you a second website that can direct traffic and still has the brand for the blog. Now, a lot of that technical stuff isn't for this one video, but overall, it's a really important take home message. You can not only bring patients in for yourself, for the practice, you can boost revenue, but it's a great way to get out there. It's 2016, you gotta be out on the web in a big way. So uh, more to come on this. If you guys really like this type of content, let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and we'll go ahead and put out a lot more content just like it.